Hey guys, welcome back to Go Goetia, 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 whatever. I can, I'm never going to get that name right. I'm just, that's just how it's going to go. Well, so, I had a minor malfunction with the game. It cr crashed and I kind of lost the first, uh, like, three or four minutes. Um, we met with the spirit. His name is Malthus. He was, he was up here. He looks like a giant bird. And uh, he tells us that in order for him to leave, we have to find his opposite sigil. So this apparently is part of his sigil. Oh, excuse me, goodness. And we have to find the opposite one. So I've been looking all around here. I couldn't find anything to interact with. And then I realized you have to put an item on this thing. It's a dumbwaiter. And once I did that, then I'm able to go down here. So, oh boy, his place is rotten, more or less. What is, oh boy, oh. Oh, it's one of these, uh, all right, let's put this right there. Um, this one goes over there. This one, oh boy, we've only got so much room to work with here. All right, let's see here, uh, put that there. Hey, at least they snap into place, that's always good. Alright, my young brother, come on, snap in, snap in, okay, don't snap in, I don't care. Uh, let's see here, oh, I'm missing, missing pieces here. right in there. Oh, okay. There we are. All right, my young brother. It's been a while since I, been a while since I haven't put your keen mind to the test. How would you feel about a paper chase? First clue: chariot. Happy hunting. Hmm. Well, alrighty then. <coughs> Smoked garlic. Oh, man. Smoked garlic is so delicious. All right. First things first here. Let's, let's look around. We got a new area here. So, all right. Let's see. These plates haven't been probably washed. Oh, yeah. That's gross. There's a wall of paper. Why is it blank? Okay. So, let's do this. And we'll do that. It's not the right powder, maybe at least I'll be able to make some nice fireworks. Can I put this on the table? Is that cool? Is that going to sit there? Yeah. Alright. It reads, the eldest's birth. I don't know what that means. Okay, well, that's cool. There's no food in these shelves. No one's planning on settling in here. Oh, there's a roach on the wall. Hey, you better run for me, you little bug. Something's preventing me from going any further. Metal sheets bolted on the wall. There's a combination lock on the door. Wow. Okay. These sheets are made of metal. Lead, maybe. Hmm. Oh, geez. Another puzzle. Um. Let's see, everything bad happened at like 19, what, 39 or something? Nothing? Okay, well, maybe 1940. Nope. I don't know. Okay. Alright, so we're gonna have to find. We're gonna have to find a. Uh, we're gonna have to find a code of some sort. The eldest birth, huh? The eldest birth. Uh, I can't take... Oh, I'd have to take that up. Oh, nope. I can pop through here. Okay. 
the eldest birth. Whoa, 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 too far. The eldest birth. The eldest was Annie in 1940. Uh, so she was... How old was she? Like, she was... In 19... Okay, so it would be, what, like... 40 years or so? So... What, like... She was probably born in something like... Ninety-eight, something like that. No, I guess not. Hmm. Ninety-nine. I I don't know. I don't. I don't know when she was born, and I don't think. I don't think the. Uh, the eldest birth okay and they want us to find a note so ah uh, are you serious please tell me this is in my codec or something codec is that it nope that's not it alright well crap I gotta put this all back together okay well it took a little bit of playing with the lock. I'm pretty pretty sure that I probably should have figured something out there, but uh, I just kind of kept playing with the lock until finally it opened. Yeah, I know it's kind of a cheap way to do it, but oh boy, I can say I'm disappointed. Pillars of light. A G E R. Oh, what's this? My dear Alexander, I know you I know you disapprove of all this. You have made that perfectly clear these past few days. Forgive me, my dear child, but I must see this to the end. Our family has suffered too much. I hope you'll find it in your heart to forgive me for what I did. Wherever you are now, I'm sure you're happy. Wait, wherever you, wherever you are now, I'm sure you're happy where you are now. Your loving mother, Annie. Okay. Oh. Yeah, Annie, what... What did happen here? Like, what did... What did she do? I don't understand all these sigils. These messages, these experiences. In the silence, I can't stand to be alone here. What happened to the Blackwoods, and why did I wake up? Where's Annie? This is a nightmare. Yeah, it kind of is. <clears throat> there is certainly a lot going on. Father, mother, please, I'm begging you, come back. I come back, help me. Hmm. Ooh, a noise. A noise from the hall. Yeah. Real quick, let's look. Here, oh, that's blocked off. A must stand for Alexander, E for Edward, G for Gabriel, R for Robert. E G E R. A G E R. Okay. A G E R. Maybe before I look in the hall, maybe that'll open a box over here. Let's see. Nope. Nope. I was hoping, but it won't. Alright, so we gotta find out what came from the hallway. There's someone stomping around in here. I will I will poltergeist and I will I will uh possess things and scare you and something. I, I don't I don't really know. We're <laughs> just trying to figure out what the heck's going on in this game. It is so strange. 
and I'm not, I'm not seeing anything. I don't know, I don't know what's gone on in the hall. Crockery is broken, it didn't fall by itself. Something hexagonal, just like the one Petaswas said, the manor. Yeah. So let's possess that. That way we can take it with us, and we can't go through the door, so we gotta go all the. All, well, we gotta go around here someplace. Can I fit through there? Oh, that'll work. Oh, come on. No, it's not. I just went through. Oh, are you serious? Um, is there... Is there a way out? The door is locked. Well. Can't go through there, and I can't get through here. Oh, goodness me. I wonder if I can fly it over the house. Like, I'm pretty sure it would uh, would take a lot of effort. But I wonder if I can get this up and over. Because I don't think there's any other way for me to get this thing outside. Apart from going through the house and then flying up and up and over it, because like I can see windows, but I can't seem to access any of the windows. So let's try. Let's try this. All right, I'm outside. Can I fly up? Nope. The game's not going to let me glitch it. Ah, oh, you jerks. Should stay in the manor, yeah. Alright, so I have to figure out how to get this stupid thing outside. <coughs> and that's not going to be easy because, well, you can't, you can't take solid objects through another solid object. So what? Get, I need to get through. This hole must lead to somewhere. Okay. I was not expecting that. That's awesome. All right. <laughs> this game. This game is fun, but at the same time, this game is so weird. Hey. The opening closed behind me. The manor's a little more alive than I'd like. Well, it's it's kind of uh, it's kind of got some got some demons in it, sealed into it. So let's let's just think that it's uh, Malthus helping us out. Yeah. Whoa. What is this? What is this? Oh, it's the family crypt. What would someone be hiding among the coffins? I'd like to leave this place as soon as I can. Oh no, 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 no. We are looking around. A key, of course. Now let's find the lock that it opens. If it, well, oh, oh, if it belongs to Mrs. Ward, as I suspect. But is that as far as I can go? Yeah, I can't go any further. All right. So we're going to possess a key, and we're the scary key, woo. All right, we're a floating key. <laughs> oh, man. All right, let's get, can I, can I get in? Whoa. All right, oh, what's this? Hmm. The harness was brought with his own hands. Ben Hur equipped with the horse. Hmm. Okay, so that's p 
part of hmm. all right so that's part of the the paper trail or whatever where we're trying to follow the note but first let's see if we can get this key to unlock this locked cupboard over uh, where is that cupboard at where are you cupboard here cupboard 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 is this it? This is covered. Yeah. Finally, we've been trying to get this stupid thing open for a while now. All right. Malthus, a little weird little birdie. Opposite sigil is banishment. Huh. Okay. So this is his sigil, but this one down here is his opposite. That's weird. Okay. Well. <clears throat> I don't know much about Ferris. Ferris. The text says that he knows about medicinal herbs and stones, that he teaches logic and ethics, and that he can make people invisible and eloquent. Oh, okay. This green moss appeared during the night after my summoning attempt. I don't dare remove it as I fear I might damage the sigil. What would happen if the connection were suddenly severed without the proper preparations? Hmm, good question. Oh. Bune, Father's search research mentioned him on several occasions with a mixture of fear and respect. He tried several challenges to enter our world, but not with benign intentions. I don't understand him. Well, Bune is, I don't know, rage perhaps, or anger? Malicious intent? Malthus doesn't like him. I don't know if I should trust Malthus, though. These two have been in open war for centuries. He seems ready to take any opportunity to take his opponent, or to make his opponent lose ground. Can I count on Malthus to block his way if he tries anything? I shall summon him at the end. No opposite sigil, not enough time, no need. If he escapes, I might do this wretched world a favor. What? What? Why would you... Releasing a, uh, a malicious force and she's going to do the world a favor. Really? You freaking serious? Boy, Annie seems to be a real angry type. Paimon. So this is Paimon. If one believes... Jacques Colin de Plancy, a king of hell. He teaches art, science, and mysteries. He belongs to the Order of Angels and Dominions. He has 200 legions under his command. A perfect match for the spirit of the family, then. I'm in second position. Four dots appeared on the sigil. The smell of burning filled the room. I'm on the right path, but what do these straight lines on top mean? Hmm. Interesting. Well, well, that's quite the discovery. Do you remember the sigil? Try to memorize its every relief. This will be crucial when you try to chase me out of these walls. Oh, that's uh, Malthus talking to us. Oh, yeah. Hi, Malthus. Oh. Oh. Malthus' opposite signal has been revealed. Every room once blocked by his presence is now accessible. Oh, look at that. We can pop around now. All right. Cool. Well, uh, I think I'm actually going to end this here because I had a couple of good breakthroughs, a couple of weird things going on, but interesting game. Very weird. Very weird. But we still got a lot of questions. Like, how was Annie able to summon and bind all these demons to different areas of the house? Why did she do it? It seems in part like she did it out of anger because her sister was gone. And then it seemed out of anger because of some invaders? Or was she trying to help her sister? Was she overcome by grief? It's very, very strange. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode so far. And uh, 
I hope you enjoy the series so far. This is really interesting, but very strange at the same time. So hopefully I'm not rushing it and ruining everything for you guys. But anyways, until next time, take care of yourselves. I hope you have a good day. And goodbye.